So here we see Westlaw for the first time. I'm going to get rid of this window. So this is the screen that we are brought to. Now we can enter information that we want to enter here on the home screen, or we can go to these drop downs. I'm going to start by going to cases and I'm going to go to cases search and you'll see this screen. So you can either enter the parties, you can enter a citation number, or you can enter free text. So I'll demonstrate how this might work. For parties, I'm going to give Donahue and Stevenson as an example. Okay, so now we're brought to this screen and here you can see the Donahue and Stevenson that we're looking for. Sometimes you might find that there will be various different results and that's where it will be useful for you to look at this, the subject, also the keywords and the summary if there is one available. So Donahue and Stevenson, we can click here for a case analysis. And that's another avenue you can go down to work out whether this is the case that you're looking for. Um, it will give you an abstract um, and it's a nice summary of the case. So that's a nice place to start. It's also a good idea to read the summary before you read the case in full. Here it says where reported and so I might click on one of these uh, to read the case. So I've clicked on one and I'm brought to this House of Lords and here you can see the case in full. Now this is your report citation. So this is the report of the case that we've just clicked on. So I'm going to copy this now. I'm going to go back to cases search because sometimes in your notes you might be given the party's name, but you might also be given the citation number. So I'm going to search here by citation number instead. And you'll see again, we have Donahue and Stevenson. So this is an, also an, a nice avenue to go down if you have various results under the same name and you want to make sure that you're getting the right result. I'll go back to cases search because I'm going to click here on free text and what I might search here, for example, I'm going to put in quotation marks, trespass to land. Now, the reason I'm putting it in quotation marks is because I want that entire phrase um, to generate results rather than the individual words, for example, all the results that include trespass, all the results that include the word to, and all the, the results that include the word land. I want it to generate results with that phrase. So here you can see um, we've got 994 results. Um, and here they're organized by date. You might try to organize them by relevance. Um, but this is another way to find cases. Now, searching trespass to land, that's quite broad. So you might choose to go back to your cases search and you might choose to do trespass to land and then you might choose to put and and then qualify it um, with something else. So, for example, highways or something like that. OK, so that's cases search. Now I'm going to move to journal search. So I'm going to click here and the same sort of thing arises. So you can either search by article title, you can search by author, and that's a useful option if there's a particularly um, popular author in, in the area of law you're searching that's useful. Um, but what you will tend to do if you're just looking more generally is you'll, you'll type in free text 
or subject keyword. So what you might actually choose to do if, for example, you're given an assignment exploring Donahue and Stevenson, you will perhaps start by looking at the case itself, but then move to journals. And you might then, uh, in free text, type in Donahue and Stevenson. Alternatively, you might do so with an article title if you really want something more specific. But let's try it in free text and see what's generated. So it's loading again. We have lots of results here. So we can organize by date. Here we might choose to organize actually by relevance. Um, now, relevance will be um, probably more helpful where you give more information in the free text. Um, here, so you've given Donahue and Stevenson, but if you were to give more, it will allow um, for for greater um, optimization of, of relevance. So here we can see the results. Now, what you want to be looking for here is the full text. So the abstract is, of course, very useful in making sure that you're reading something that will be relevant. So, for example, this first result, that's 20 pages. So you might want to read the abstract first to make sure that it's relevant before you go ahead and read the full text. But you want to make sure that full text option is available um, for you to read. So I'm going to click on full text so that we can see. Now, this is a case comment um, and it, it looks like it gives us a nice background here um, of the case. OK, um, here we can see the journal that it's published in, um, page numbers, and this will be relevant when you come to um, create your citation of the journal article. Um, if you were to use it in a um, in an assignment. Now we can also go um, and explore the the other areas in Westlaw. So, for example, if I go up to legislation search here, I'm going to say uh, Companies Act 2006. Now, again, you have the free text option here. I'm going to search Companies Act 2006 and, and see what we get. So first result, let's have a look. Now, this means that this is a PDF, um, so it may open here as a PDF. Um, now, that's going to start downloading, I should imagine. Um, so here. You can see the various provisions. Um, so S1 companies, that means section one. Um, and you have the option to download. Now, this is an option when you look at cases, journals, legislation. Um, but I'll show you it here. So you click download on the side. And usefully, you can choose how you want to download the document. So you might choose to download it as a PDF. You might choose to download it as a Word document. Now, downloading it as a Word document will give you um, more flexibility in terms of use of Microsoft Word tools. So, for example, the read aloud function that will read the case out to you. Um, but some people might prefer PDF. If you go to advanced, then you can um, tailor the, the document that you download even more. So you might change the font size, um, whether the links are in blue or in black. Um, term highlighting will be useful if, for example, when you've searched for something by free text, let's say, for example, you've searched um, trespass to land and highways, um, it will highlight those terms for you. So that might be useful if that's something that you're looking for. Um, and, and then you just download your document and that will go to your downloads folder. OK. So that is Westlaw. I suggest that you, you have a look at it, have a play around with it and see what you can find. Um, and do reach out either to your personal tutor 
or to the academic skills department if you require any more support with it.